All right, welcome back to Stever Garage. This is my 1993 Honda uh, XR200. Now this one, um, I've had quite a few of these, probably about eight or nine um, over the years. And this one's probably my favorite um, as a whole, not my favorite year or anything, but this one is plated. Um, it's had a conversion on it. They put uh, blinkers, tail light, it has Washington plates on it. Um, and at one point it met all the requirements. Right now it's missing its mirrors because uh, off-road those are kind of dangerous, I find. Um, and it does not have a speedometer, which is not required by the state. But federally you're supposed to have a speedometer and odometer, but this is exempt anyway. It's kind of a weird in the middle thing. But um, it's got everything else, it's got the horn got blinkers it runs on a little almost like RC airplane battery but uh, anyways it's had the engine pulled out before by me I put a new timing chain um, piston rings gasket kit and timing chain guides and seals uh, just at the top end but it's starting to leak oil and burn oil so I have a spare motor um, that's newer and I'm gonna use its cylinder that I honed out so it's pretty clear in there. And then I've got an extra head with just pretty good shape and then this is just the rocker arms, which um, I've also got an extra cam. I'm just gonna see how the cam looks when I'm in there. But then we got our gaskets and some other stuff, grips. I got a kit with all stainless steel hardware, which is pretty sweet, Allen head, um, if you're gonna go through it. And then a new piston and rings, so. As it sits now, the bike still 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 starts up pretty good. Uh, let's see, fuel on, choke on. pretty good it just uh, I'm probably gonna die here I took it to the desert though and uh, it died on me a few times um, and I think the problem is I left it outside that night and I don't have a fuel valve here and I'm thinking that it got water, just enough water in the fuel, because I'd be riding along, I'd hit like a bump, and it would start bogging. And uh, if you kind of like feather the throttle enough, you could keep it alive, and it would go away. Um, at one point out there, it died on me, and I actually emptied the bowl by loosening the bowl screw, and it started up. So I'm thinking that was more the problem but I have the means to just put another top end on it, and so I'm gonna do that. Sounds weird, because it's got the choke on right now. But anyways, yep, so that's my, that's the 200, so I'm gonna make a video going through how, uh, how it is that you pull the engine out, how you do the top end, how you time it, how you put it back. Um, and all that stuff, so.